European Heritage Open Days is Northern Ireland's annual celebration of local architecture, history and culture. Each year many properties and locations open their doors to the public to host lots of free events. This year there will also be a series of digital events from 6th to 12th September. Mid and East Antrim Borough Council is delighted to be making a contribution to the digital programme by highlighting a hidden gem in Ballymena's Town Centre, which is a rich history and an exciting future potential as a shared space. Council is also pleased to be supporting the tercentenary of St Patrick's Church of Ireland in Ballymena in 2021, as the old churchyard is the site of their predecessor church. So welcome, and let's hear more about the old churchyard's past and aspirations for its future. This site at the top of Church Street in Ballymena is situated at the very heart of the parish of Kilkenriola and Ballyclug. With the old church at Kirk and Riola falling into increasing disrepair, the Church of Ireland population uh, moved to a preaching house in Ballymena, which was used for worship. The increasing population, however, in the town meant that the building that was being used was no longer adequate for use. So it was determined that a new parish church should be built. Fortunately, the Adair family of Ballymena Castle donated this site to the parish and a new parish church was built here during the early 1700s. It was consecrated in 1721, 300 years ago this year. It is a very interesting history with a number of interesting people buried in, in the graveyard here. The father of Sir Roger Casement is buried here, as is Joseph Dias, who served in the Napoleonic Wars. By the mid-1800s, however, with the growth of Ballymena and the parallel growth in the number of parishioners, it was determined that a new parish church building was required. Once again, the Adair family came to the rescue with the donation of a site at the entrance to the old castle. And that church was built in the 1850s um, and consecrated in 1855. So the year 2021, in terms of the history of the Church of Ireland in Ballymena, is a very significant year. Most importantly, however, because it represents the tercentenary of the building of the parish church here in this site, right in the heart of the commercial centre of Ballymena. It's my hope that in 300 years time, uh, well, we'll not be about, uh, but I hope that there will still be vibrant, living congregations of faith, including the Church of Ireland in this town, and they will be able to look back as we are uh, today and appreciate and learn from the past about how to endure and persevere and remain steadfast and faithful. And it is also a hope that the site will develop to be a, a great resource, a great uh, space, a green space in the middle of this town that can be shared by everybody. Council are working in partnership with the parish to explore ways in which we can open up the old cemetery and church tower to the public. Um, at the moment we have some wonderful public parks on the outskirts of the town centre but there's no green space available to the public within the town centre itself. Um, the cemetery offers a wonderful opportunity to provide green space that people can walk into, sit down, relax, explore and take time out to themselves during the day within the town centre. The wonderful thing about the site itself as well is that it has a, a wealth of historical value in terms of the gravestones, the graves, the church itself that is important not just for the, the history of the church but as a way of exploring the social history of Balamina throughout the last 300 years. Our intention is to open up the site doing the minimal works possible to make the site safely accessible and usable for the public. That will mean putting in new pathways, seating and lighting and doing whatever minimal works are required to conserve the church tower and the other structures in the cemetery itself in order to make it safe. It's been hidden away for far too long behind a big gate up a little alleyway and the number of folks that uh, a newcomer like me to Ballymena has encountered who say, I've been here 50, 60, 70 years, I never knew that was there. So we hope that will change and that these stones will be allowed to talk and tell their story to the residents of Ballymena and visitors that might come here.